The Google Stadia servers are officially going offline starting tomorrow night. And if you're an owner of a Google Stadia controller, Google just released a brand new tool which will convert your Stadia from a Wi-Fi controller into a Bluetooth controller. Officially ending the era of Google Stadia once and for all. I guess there's no sense in waiting any longer, but... <clears throat> Goodbye, my old friend. Shh. It'll all be over soon. Are you listening? Hey, welcome back, friends. We are obviously away from the studio this week. However, the end of our Google Stadia journey has officially arrived. As this week, Google released a brand new tool which will convert your Google Stadia controller into a Bluetooth controller. Which means that even if the servers do go offline, Stadia will at least live on in the form of a Bluetooth controller. Now, in order to make this transition happen, you're gonna need three things. Your Stadia controller, a USB cable, and a computer that has access to a Chrome browser. Then, once you have all those three things, you can simply go to stadia.google.com slash controller, and it will begin walking you through the process of converting your controller into a Bluetooth controller. And the first step it'll have you do is actually plug your Stadia controller into your computer. From there, you will select the option on the Stadia website to switch your your controller into Bluetooth mode. You will receive a pop-up asking you to allow Chrome to verify that your controller is connected, which once Google confirms that the controller is connected, you will then have to unlock your Stadia controller by unplugging it, holding the start button down, and reinserting the USB cable. Following that, you will simply hold down the start Google Assistant A and Y button down simultaneously, and this will unlock the Stadia controller for a new update. Your Chrome browser will then ask you permission to download and install a Bluetooth update for the controller. And once that is complete, Google will alert you that the process has been finished and your Stadia controller has been converted into a Bluetooth controller. Now we went ahead and ran the process on this controller and there's some quick notes that I think we should point out. First off, this fix is only available until December 31st of 2023. So if you have extra controllers laying around your house, make sure to update your controllers by the end of the year. Another important point to make is this process is permanent. So once you switch your controller to Bluetooth mode, there is no way to bring your controller back to its factory standard Wi-Fi controller setup. For me, even though there's gonna be no purpose of it, I, I think I'm gonna convert the majority of my controllers over to Bluetooth, but I'm at least gonna have one that's still Wi-Fi enabled just for the hell of it. And we should also point out that just because your device is now Bluetooth enabled doesn't mean that it will work with all devices. In fact, right now, Google has confirmed that Windows 10 and 11, Mac OS 13, Chrome OS, and Android devices will fully support the Bluetooth mode, but we still have no word on platforms like Nintendo, Xbox, or even PlayStation. And the final thing that I think that we should definitely point out here, and it's kind of a, a word of warning, if you transition your controller to Bluetooth, you will lose the ability to listen to game audio via the controller's USB or audio port. And again, this all just comes down to trade-offs. On, on one hand, you now have Bluetooth support, but you lose audio, whereas on the other hand, you can never use your controller wirelessly, but you might be able to get audio through it when it's plugged in via USB. So I think Bluetooth is definitely the better option here. But with all of that, our Stadia controller is now a Google Bluetooth controller. And our Stadia journey has come to an end. Over 500 videos about Stadia completed on YouTube, and uh, we're heading into a new direction, for sure. But uh, thank you. Thank you guys for coming along the ride. I'm just gonna leave the controller there, and uh, yeah. Rest in peace, Google Stadia.